Hey guys, it's Drew the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about something coin dealers can't sell. Let's get this video started. Most dealers, when you talk to them, uh, especially people that are handling high-end coins and have been in the business a while, they're expecting certain coins for certain prices um, that are really nice, that most people would, you know, that are in coin collecting, they'd be dream coins. Uh, whether that's gold, or it's a really tough t early type coin, or it's a really nice condition rarity on a coin. Um, but most people that are in our position or people that are you know selling coin to coin and uh, vest pocket dealing really don't think about how dealers um, can become specialists. And it takes many, many years for someone to gain notoriety in the space to where they can be known for gold or be known for early type or be known for cat bust halves or be known for good cat coins. You have to build up a reputation over time. And what I see a lot of young numismatists, young dealers, um, dealers even that are in my space, they only want the best coins. They only want the coins that will make them the most money and that will uh, keep them the least amount of busy as possible. And the one thing that you can't sell, which Casey talks about a lot and says a lot, you can't sell dollar bills. And so am I passionate about every single coin that we buy? Is it something that I would collect? Is it something that, um, you know, that I would jump over the moon for? Absolutely not. But I think that there are people out there that want great coins and they want to buy from someone they know. And so if you're a vest pocket dealer, someone that is wanting to gain notoriety in this space, you're going to have to put in the work. You're gonna to have to buy coins sometimes you don't like because people out there that are your customers do like them. And so here's a whole group of coins that we ended up getting in from two of our friends. Uh, one's name is Gabe, one's name is Trent. We also got one from eBay. A few of these are already sold, but these are coins that most people might walk over at a show or they would say, hey, it's just not for me. But I think that at the, at the end of the day, if we can make five bucks on a coin that we paid 30 bucks for, and get it to someone that really likes coins. That's something that's a win for us. That's keeping someone uh, energized and inspired to be in the space. And uh, I would encourage people to not look over these coins and uh, spend your cash. People want to buy from you. All right, guys. So I have everything kind of laid out on the counter here. All on the bottom row, we're going to post on our eBay just because it's stuff that a lot of people like on eBay and it ends up selling pretty well. The rest of the stuff on the top row, we normally post on our website, acousticcollectibles.com. And that's where you can find a lot of nice U.S. coins from 50 bucks all the way up to a few thousand dollars. Let's start off with some old holders here. So just kind of common stuff that we got from Gabe, but very pleased with just the amount of eye appeal, the way the coins look overall. Um, you know, they're just nice looking coins. Has a little toning, nice cameo look to this Proof Franklin. Two Roosevelt dimes here. And sometimes when you're looking at these Roosevelt dimes or Mercury dimes and the Annex holders, old soap boxes, they are pretty strict on those in terms of grading. So I like buying them, selling them for where they are, because most of the time if people ever want to mess with them, crack them out for any reason, it's going to come back 65 sometimes better. Uh, this 1918 Walker in G4, kind of a low ball, pretty cool, especially in the soap box. Some old PCGS holders here, nice flashy 81S Morgan. Luster is pretty nice. There's a little haze above the head there, which kind of, for me, holds it back from getting a sticker, but I don't think stickers mean too much to this coin. We have two proof Franklins. Holder's a little beat up. Most of the scuffs are on the holder. This one's got a little distracting spot, but we did talk about in a few videos back that certain coins should go in certain buckets, and so when we price coins like this, we're pricing them to go. A lot of these coins we're gonna be pricing backup comps because we want people to be able to buy them and we don't want to sit on them forever. This is a 1962 Proof Franklin. It's in Proof 66 Cameo. Scuffs on the holder again, but I mean, just phenomenal Cameo contrast. Affordable coin too, which is pretty nice. We have this 30S uh, Standing Liberty Quarter. Priced well back of XF45. Got a little colorful cap bust half here. Got this one from Trent, really nice looking color to the coin. Not sure if it's been sent to CAC before, but mostly original. We have this 1909 Lincoln scent, graded MS64 red. Nice red color to the coin. 
no brown. Sometimes you get brown with these older holders because, you know, someone left them out in, in a hot area or the chemicals hit them and now they've turned red brown. That one is definitely red. We have this 840 MS62 proof like. Not as deep as you would see with S mints, but that's just something that we normally expect with O mints. Then we have two pretty cool Isabellas we think about sending in for grading, but we wanted to show you these old holders. So you can see like the, you know, the uh, staples kind of corroded into the into the two by twos here. And both these Isabellas are super original. I'm not sure if they'd be held back for environmental, but maybe we give them a shot and see what happens. And maybe we should send them to CAC as well, because most of the time when you're seeing Isabellas, they're either going to be low grade or they're going to be very high grade. These are about VF to XF. Two raw Morgan dollars here. This one's an 84O. I think this one's a dimple, but I do think that this coin has a little bit of brushing, especially above Ngavi Trust. I could be wrong, but I always like to heed on the side of caution. We don't ever want to sell a coin to somebody and then be upset by it when they get it in hand. And so we just told somebody it's most likely been cleaned so that we uh, keep our reputation intact. This is an 81S Morgan. Nice flashy luster, a 61 or two. Definitely beat up from another Morgan right above the head there. So decent unk coin, can fit an album. We sold this 76 CC, but I wanted to show it to you guys before uh, everything was all said and done and we packed it up. Just a nice original coin. Uh, most CCs just don't come cacked that are seated. And so bought this one, made a few bucks. Very happy to just be able to hold a coin like that with so much history. We do have kind of more bullion related stuff, but I'll try to show you as many cool things as possible. We have this 1806 half real. The rim's pretty original. The holder's pretty scuffed up. I am holding it wrong. Nice coin. A lot of the silver eagles and more bullion related plastic stuff. Like I said, we might make a few bucks on that stuff, but just not worth showing you guys. It's 2001. 10th ounce Anza, Mint State 67. I always love uh, the 80s Anzas. This is from 1982. Nice luster. Not a crazy premium for a vintage round like that. We have this 1933 Mexico Peso. A little lackluster, so that's what you kind of can expect in this coin. And the reason why they graded it that way. And look at this little cool coin I'm going to show at the end here. 2016 20 ounce proof Anza, graded proof 69 decam. Just really cool contrast and something that's affordable. Make sure to check out our eBay and our website if you want to take a look at all this stuff. All right, guys, so before this video continues, we wanted to show you a few things that we're shipping out. A few videos back, we ended up showing you guys what we've been selling recently, and hopefully that's been helpful to you. And so we're gonna do it again in this video. Uh, we sold a lot of coins as Casey's showing you now if you guys ever want to reach out have coins for sale You could text me at 832-538-4122 and uh, Text me what you have for sale in an image and what you're asking for it I got a lot of people sending me images and saying make me an offer I have somebody else that gave me a stronger offer and now I'm using you against them I don't want that if you want to sell a coin, you know where to look for the comps and then you can reach out to us and we'd be happy to buy something from you. But uh, let's show you these purchase these purchases that ended up selling for us. Don't want to take up too much time here, but wanted to show you a few things. So this is 1861, $5 gold lib. It's an OGH holder, CEC approved, has a little color to the coin. Got this yesterday and ended up selling very quickly. We had this 33S we got from the TNA show. Thank you, Dana, for selling this to us. Really nice coin. It's on its way to its new home. We have this 94 uh, Proof V-Nickel from the D.L. Hansen collection. Nice coin. And got a whole other slew of things here. Two Rattlers that we've been holding on to for a while. This is a 1938D Buffalo Nickel. Uh, CEC approved. And you got its sister right here. I think we bought six of these to begin with, and now we're down to these last two and they are on their way. We have a cool 1909 Lincoln scent, really hard to pick up color here, but it has a nice green to it, a little red on the reverse. And we have some higher end coins down here towards the bottom left. 
Showed you guys a Gettysburg recently in 66 plus. We got this Walker in 65 plus CAC. We got this real big boy here, this 54-0 and Mint State 63. Really hard to find Mint State, but found a new owner for it. We got a commemorative going out today as well, this 1927 Vermont in 65. Luster's really nice, has a little hint of toning also. This 1851 $10 gold lib just sold also. OGH holder CAC approved. Just a really nice, wholesome coin. A few kind of common coins here sold this 1835 uh, dime, a few Morgan dollars, a few modern dollars. This 1834 half uh, cent just sold. Just a nice affordable piece. A lot of these, like I say, uh, they do get up in price when you get a little bit of a higher grade. So finding one that's affordable is nice. And then we've sold some bullion-esque type of stuff here. First Wisconsin Center uh, one ounce bars and this 2015 Anza. And then last but not least, this 1909D Barber Dime. It's a great AU58 CAC. I bought this coin because it sold in 2011 for 460. And so we add a little bit of a premium to it for it being off the market for so long, but definitely a nice group of coins. We wish we could hold on to longer, but we know that you guys need some.